Hey guys, Messina here, and welcome back to another episode of Old Kami! In the last episode, we went through a gorgeous bamboo grove to go and fight Take, or Gi, or whatever you want to call him. We fought a dog and got his power orb in return. So now, we are clear for the canine warrior for this area. And that leaves us with... If I can open up the map real quick. That is not... Oh, here we go. <laughs> that leaves us with two more dogs to find. So we're gonna... Hello. Hello. We, we actually need to go into our inventory and use one of our mermaid coins from here. This is our first time using a mermaid coin, which we also got last time. So this is how it works. It opens up a little map and then you can like choose where you want to go. So admittedly, I only just use it right, used it right now so that I could show an example of how it works. Uh, <laughs> we really didn't need to use it because all we're gonna do is go to Taka Pass, which is essentially right next door. It was kind of a waste of money, actually, but we did get one for free, so that's not that's not terrible, right? <laughs> that's not awful. Uh, so now that we are here in Taka Pass, we need to well, for one, we need to make use of our new ability over here at the Cutter's house, which I mean, it's not really the Cutter's house anymore because they're gone. It's not dark here anymore. All of the bad vibes went with them. But we do have this here. We can sprout this water sprout. <laughs> water sprout, yes. Uh, water spout, rather. And get lifted all the way up to this. Check it out. We get a clover for coming back here, which is kind of nice. And there are a couple more things that we can pick up with this new ability. Uh, does this say anything actually? This wall's gross, just like those old spooky bags. Uh, well, I guess he's not incorrect. Well, we're not sticking around Taka Pass for very long. Uh, what we actually want to do is go through that tunnel just ahead, which is the same tunnel that we fought Waka in when we just arrived here. So, uh, a bit further in, we have some stuff we can do. So, hang on just a moment. Yeah! Remember this thing? This thing is on fire and we can't do anything about it? Well, technically, we can now because we have water! Uh, open it up and we get a crystal! And we also are still on fire. Please get un on fire. Thank you. I actually lost a full health to that. Probably should have been paying a little bit closer attention. Uh, but we do have this one over here. And, you know, technically, you shouldn't be able to access that chest right now. Because uh, this water is basically way on the other side. And you, it, it's, it, it's out of reach. Unless... You position yourself basically like right here so that the water is on this side and this is on clear the other side. What you want to do is grab this and then boop. Haha, and that has put the fire out and we can grab the stray bead that's inside. So yeah, th this chest, technically there is another way that you can do that. Um, I'm also just really impatient, so I decided to kind of cheese it a little bit, but now we're, now we're plus one stray bead, so that's pretty good. But with that being done, I do think that we are done here. So we're going to head back to Agata Forest. Um, and I guess we're technically closer to the proper exit than, uh, the mermaid spring. So I'm just going to hoof it see you guys in a bit that was a very fast bit <laughs> especially for you guys but uh here we go we're here in Agata Forest again we just need to cross this bridge go out to the mouth of the river portion and 
right around the corner. Yes, here he is. We have Kolkati once again. Hey, little dude. Oh, it's you again. Hey, have you seen my dog, Ume? He's always with me when I'm fishing. He disappeared while I wasn't looking. Again. You don't think he could have fallen into the deep abyss, do you? The water in the deep abyss has always been a bit murky, but today you can barely see into it and the surface is all ripply. My fisherman's intuition tells me the legendary fish has awoken! People call it Whopper! They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. You don't think Whopper swallowed up Ume too, do you? Well, I can't find him alone. Maybe go talk to that lady who's visiting uh, Hitoshio Spring. So, if you're wondering, uh, Hitoshio Shio Spring is the spring with the mer uh, mermaids fountain in it. So, uh, technically, we've seen it before. It's it's not it's not hard to find. But what we want to do first before going down there is investigate this. Check it out. We have three chests here. We can extinguish all of them at once for a holy bone. A stray bead again. That is two in one episode, which is kind of nice. And also a bullhorn. These three chests have been tormenting me forever. <laughs> Ever since we came here. It's one of those things where you see it over and over and over and you just... Every time I popped in here to save my game, I'm just like, oh, well, uh, I guess I can't get that get that right now. But thankfully, it didn't take too long. We now can actually grab it. Frick, come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, well, you need to catch that lip just right. It's kind of a weird angle, but uh, we, we got it. We got the lacquerware set. And with that, we've gotten everything in this cave, except for this. Yep, that's not, uh, <laughs> that, that's coming later. Anyway, leaving this area. Now, I think we're good to go and find the lady by Hitoshio Spring. Uh, around this corner, and you know what? I kind of do want to see what his dad has to say. Usually he has something... Wow! Right, he left because it's nighttime. Okay, that's fine. No, he he ba he basically says like, ah, oh, yes, my son is fishing now, but I worry that he's not respecting nature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, at least that's what I remember him saying. Uh, here we go. We have found the lady. Hmm, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now, time to get to work. Here's the barrel. Hmm, why look here, it's Kushi! What you up to here, sweetie? Oh, it's you, snowing in Isun. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki Festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here is at Hitoshio Spring has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way we can make eight purification sake. Whoa, hold it right there, sister! A purification sake? You mean the sacred drink of the ancient legend? That's right, it goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shiranui. It was the miraculous sake that they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently, they got the beast drunk and cut off its heads. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. I don't know if the legend's really true or not. But we offer the sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. That's weirdly not wholesome, but wholesome at the same time, kind of, sort of. It's nice to have an offering, I guess. Oh, uh, you plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need enough for all of the villagers. So I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you gonna fill such a big barrel with water? <laughs> And even if you can, how are you going to carry it back to the village? Hmm? That's a uh, good point. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that because Susano Yo oh, usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel as if it was light as a feather. There's no way I can manage on my own, though. Aww, Susano. 
Susano, you're, le you're leaving your lady friend out to dry. How silly of me not to think of this, uh, think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring, uh, the spring water into the barrel. Silly girl. Well, if this isn't a hint, I don't know what is. Uh, okay, do you say anything else? I suppose you could fill the barrel with spring water if you could harness the power of water. You don't say. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? <laughs> it's called magic. Or at the very least, I'm a god. There you go. Yay! How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already. This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent! Now we just have to get it back to the village! Good luck with that! It must weigh a ton. What is it? Do, do you want some of the spring water? So sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way so soon. That, that's not gonna work. You beast! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Look who it is! Here I am, just taking a walk, and look what I run into! Oh, it's you! <laughs> uh, just take one more step towards the lady, and it'll be, be, be your last! As he starts to tremble, the, the great Susano, d descendant of the hero Nagi, f f forbids it. D d d do not despair, my fair Kushi. S Susano is here to s save the day. As he drops his sword, I love Susano. Uh oh, this looks bad. I I swing my sword in the name of love. Susano style sword of passion. Here I go! You are finished! <gasps> what happened? You can take a bomb! <laughs> and his clothes get ripped. Look at that. You can you can see his belly button, he has a black eye. And it, at the, from the back, you can actually see his butt crack. I love that. Uh, you leave my Kushi alone. Oh, your Kushi. Oh, a. <laughs> huh. Yes, that one star. Huh? Susana, watch out! There, his butt crack. You did it, Pops! That was amazing! He looked kind of scared at first, but you pulled it off for the lady. Oh! Oh! He just straight up got swallowed! Um, thank you. I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Look at that coy little wiggle she's doing. Are you hurt? Susana? I knew it. I knew it all along. Strange things have been happening ever since then. First that boulder in Kamiki, then that battle with the bear. And now this. My sword is possessed by a strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious scheme. Whoa, dude. You're, you're just going to leave her again to carry the stuff? You could have earned some major points. Come on, man. 
The magnificent Isun takes offense. Why I oughta. Yeah, 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 Isun. Hmm? Where's Susano? Where did he go running off to? He left without saying a word. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle. Now it's time to win the damsel's heart. At least, uh, at least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. That's what I said. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. I'm sure I can manage on my own from here anyway. And <laughs> so sad. That sounded like that Kokati kid. Is he in trouble again? We better go check it out, Ami. Oh, did, did no, I just heard my bomb go off. Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. So that means... Oh, ho, ho, that does mean something, doesn't it? You couldn't give me a hand, could you, Snowy? Oh, wake up, sister. Does it look like my furry friend could carry that? This area should be free of evil power, and the water has sacred property, so you definitely won't be attacked on the way back. Uh, well, you're on your own. Sorry about blowing up the yard of the spring. But anyway, yes! Kokati has something going on. It's one thing after another, and Susano is nowhere in sight. So let's pop on down here. Go across and check it out. Grr. Wow, looks like you got a big one there, kid. With all that noise you're making, I was sure the monsters... Speaking of monsters! Aw, oh, Ume. Shoot, my line snapped! Curse you, Whopper! I'm gonna catch you! You're gonna pay for what you did to Ume! Well, here we go. Are you ready? Where'd that humongous fish come from? Wasn't that your dog Ume in its mouth? That was a legendary fish Whopper. You see it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface, so it really does live in these deep, murky waters. Well, it's gonna pay for gobbling up good old Lume. Jeez, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I don't have any fishing line left. But I'll snag that whopper yet! This shall be a battle to avenge Ume! Hey, I mean, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That whopper, or whatever it's called, would be quite a catch. So we're gonna see if we can catch it for him. Or at least help him out. Alright, you got the basic idea, right? Draw a line, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, basically the exact same thing as before, right down to the fact that we need to catch smaller fish in order to catch the big one. So, uh, hold on a bit. Oh, we got a crawfish. That's nice. Oh, here it is! Here it is, the fish of legend. I got a bite! Oh, what a bite it is! Come on, we're gonna slice it. It's honestly not hard. <laughs> it's a little dramatic, but it's not difficult. It's no, no more difficult than any of the other fish that we've already caught. But he is gigantic! Check it out! It's the Whopper! I knew I could do it! Look at that self-confidence! I finally caught Whopper! Huh. And here I was so worried about, about you, kid. You're one fine fisherman. You should be proud of yourself. Keep on fishing and make sure to bring on plenty of uh, bring along plenty of line. That that fish could eat you. How could I ever fish again? I mean, what about Ume? He's never coming back. Oh boy, the crybaby's back, Isun! Isun! That 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 fish ate his dog. <laughs> Don't worry. After all, you hmm. His dog just got eaten! Of course he's crying! Goodness, he soon. Sensitivity, please. 
Look, the surface of Deep Abyss is as bright and shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflection sure looks beautiful. Hmm? Where's the moon? How come I can only see its reflection? Hey look, another constellation! And all I really have to say about this specific one is hallelujah! This is adorable. To those of you who don't know, they are making mochi. It's basically like, can be used as a ceremonial thing, but also it's just really delicious. <laughs> Mochi's good, try it, please. <laughs> I love how they fight. I mean, it makes sense because we have the sun god and essentially the moon god in one place. That, that's not gonna be uh, productive. Ah, uh, Madarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. Consumed by a fish, I patiently awaited this day in its belly. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. Wait, that's redundant. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. There, I gotta read it like that. I, Yumigami, god of the moon, cover the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your perilous journey. You're so cute! Can I, can I just say that? That you are adorable? Thank you for bestowing your power onto me. Yumigami, the god of moon power. So Whopper really did swallow up that moon reflected on the water. Now you have the crescent brush technique. That one lets you draw a crescent moon in the sky. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. I wonder if it really works. Could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? I don't know. <laughs> hey, it didn't work. Are you really trying? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I, I, I really just like, if you try to draw the sun, he gets mad at you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So here we go. Making the moon for real. The moon, the moon, it's come out. Now you have the power to turn day into night. <laughs> Think of the nighttime pleasures that await. I know that sounds tempting, but first things first, wink. Uh, we still have that matter, that matter princess, uh, that matter princess Fusei asked us to deal with. Which speaking of which, here he comes. Hey! I, I, it, it's Ume! He came out of Whopper's mouth, you okay, boy? I knew it would spit Ume out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty tasting canine. <laughs> Never seen an uglier looking dog in my life. Excuse me, please? Isun, are we looking at the same dog? This dog is freaking adorable. What's wrong with you? Yeah, same, Ume. Uh, just, just trying to have a little fun like I do with Furball here. White Wolf, how did you come to bear the canine tracker? Hmm? There's a familiar scent in the air, my former comrades. It emanates from your body. Uh, stop sniffing that. It's none of your business how we smell. It's just that we don't like taking baths, that's all. Uh, did he just say something about the canine tracker? Uh, the canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove his strength. I shall be the one to test it. Canine warrior Jin. What the? You're one of the eight canine warriors, Ami? This dog means business. Haha! <laughs> Good thing! So do I! Never thought we'd be going up against you! Bring it on, Snaggletooth! Okay, um, Ume's not difficult. Ume's pretty much the same fight as before. There's nothing to really be concerned with. Uh, it's gonna jump around a bunch. Uh, okay, I, I accidentally freaking drew a tree, which caused me to get hit. 
Oh yeah, uh, he poops. He poops bombs, which isn't great for us, but I mean, just go around it and you should be fine. Once he gets knocked, knocked out, it's pretty much lights out. I missed the chance to pee on him! Ugh! There! I, I pee, I, again, I'm a little bit... I just wanna pee on things. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of the Gale Shrine, but this child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? And there we go, just like before, we get the orb for ourselves. What's this? The power orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. What, you're not going back to the princess? After all we went through? Nope, this canine is happy on his own. Uh, please tell what has to inspire to my former master, Princess Fuse. But I'm more worried about you and the kid. That's th th This whole section is just, like, so wholesome. And I love how Kokati just, like, kind of understands that we needed to scrap it out. He's just like, ah, oh, yeah, that was one good fight. You, you, got, you guys do your thing. <laughs> anyway, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here because... We've been at this for a while, and we've gotten ourselves one of the most useful things in the game. We can finally turn day into night. I've been waiting for this. <sighs> in the next episode, we're going on the search for the final canine warrior. I will see you guys then. The Sainella out.